as time progresses, things change. We change, our perspectives change, our lives change because change is the only constant. And if everything around us is changing, then why not to change our iPhone's app icons as well? So without further ado, let's start with the process of changing your app icon and I have a bonus trick for you in the end. So do stick around. So first and foremost, you should have Siri shortcut app in your phone. And if I told you don't have that, it's okay. App Store has that for you and you can easily download it. After that, once you get inside the app, I would want you to press the plus button or add button. And when you go there, you need to firstly rename your shortcut. And over here, I want to rename my shortcut to Amazon because that is the app I am planning to change my icon with. And then you need to press add action. When we go to add action, you need to search open app. Once you click on that, you need to select the app that you need to create a shortcut for or you want to change an icon for. And over here, that app should be Amazon. And once that is done, I'll press on the done button. As you can see, the shortcut has been created. There is one small job left to be done. I'll go inside that shortcut. I'll press on the info button. I'll add it to my home screen. Then over here, you can see, I'll get an option to take a photo, choose a photo or choose file. Once I choose the photo, I'll add and the job is done. My app icon has been changed. Hold, hold, hold. Wait for a second. Just take a moment to appreciate this photo of Jeff Bezos that I've found on internet. Isn't it beautiful? Do comment below and let me know how did you find it. After all said and done, there is one job which is still remaining to be done. As you can see, now I have two Amazon apps on my phone. Although, both of them do the same little thing. They open the Amazon app. But I don't want anybody to know about it. I want my friends to wonder that how did I manage to change my icon. So what I'll do is, I'll remove the app. I won't delete it. I'll just remove it from my home screen so it is safely sitting in my app library. And voila, the job is done. So like this, you can go crazy with your layouts. You can design your own interface and get as creative as you want to be. I hope this video helped you a bit. And if you liked it and you want these tips and tricks in future as well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and don't forget to like our video. If you're watching this video, then you must be an Apple fanatic. So for the same reasons, you should go to App Store and download our app, which is known as IGB. So until next time, I'll see you around. It's me, Hardik, signing off.